So, as many of you know, I grew up Jehovah's Witness. I was Jehovah's Witness for 18 years before leaving. To this day, I'm still discovering built-in biases and beliefs that stuck with me after I left. For example, until recently, I thought Jehovah was verifiably God's name, as listed in the Bible, and I literally thought that there was a conspiracy to keep that quiet. I mean, I've been atheist for like six years, and I thought that all the way up until a week ago. Here's something else. I thought Jesus had short hair, and I thought every time I saw a depiction of Jesus with long hair, it was complete bullshit. Now, of course, I doubt Jesus even existed. I don't think Christians have met their burden of proof for that yet. But why would I think that? Because Jesus, every time he's depicted in Jehovah's Witness literature, has short hair with a beard. So I decided to start looking some of this shit up, and what did I find? It's all bullshit. Here's the deal with God's name. When the Old Testament was written, vowels weren't needed or used. Later, scribes went back to insert vowels in an effort to make it easier to read for future generations. But the name of God translated from the Tetragrammaton as YHWH, because of the missing vowels, was held as holy. The people of the time believed that the name should never be spoken out loud. So instead of inserting the correct vowels for God's name, which is widely believed by scholars to be Yahweh, the scribes inserted the vowels for Adonai, which directly translates to Lord. This made the name literally unpronounceable by mashing consonants and vowels together that didn't belong next to each other. This way, people reading the scriptures out loud would be forced to skip over the name rather than say it. In the early 1500s, people from the modern-day area around Germany attempted to pronounce the name YHWH mixed with the vowels from the Hebrew word for Lord. Due to their accents, the Y in YHWH sounded something like a J, and the W sounded something like a V. That led to these four letters being fabricated somewhere around the year 1530. So we have J-H-V-H, because J replaces the Y and V replaces W in a German-like accent. And then filling in the vowels with the letters from Adonai, which is the Hebrew word for Lord, led to this. J-E-H-O-V-A-H. Notice the extra syllable there, J-E-H. This changes the pronunciation and format of the name entirely. A vowel doesn't belong between H and W in Yahweh, but one was placed between H and V in Jehovah, thus resulting in an extra syllable. Unfortunately, doing this completely butchers the original name of God as listed in the Bible. It never appears in the Old Testament, not one single time. And of course, the New Testament was written in Greek, so the name never made an appearance there either. So, like I said, the first appearance of the name Jehovah was in 1530 CE. So, like 500 years ago, it eventually made its way into the King James Bible, which was written between 1604 and 1611. Just one more piece of evidence that Jehovah's Witnesses are completely full of shit. But how could they possibly back out of it now? I mean, it's in their name. They can't be like, oh, we're Yahweh's Witnesses now. We didn't like Jehovah, so we ditched him. They were a part of the UN for 10 years as a non-governmental organization, after decades of demonizing the UN as the Beast of Revelation. When exposed by a British newspaper, they claimed their reason for registering was so they